Well, peoples, this is Connor on Connor's Retribution Analysis, and I've got a good game. Pretty excited for it. It's every shredder I own. I wish I owned more because this Carnivian really should just explode into four shredders right about now because that'd be so much cooler than the situation I'm in. But the list is basically 16 shredders, Carnivian, and Proteus with Absalonia 2. I remember seeing it at a team tournament a long, long time ago, and I was super excited about it, and I felt like I should play it. Also on the left over here, we have some dirty convergence, uh, Ryan modulate electric boogaloo against a whole bunch of steelheads. And that's that, that's an interesting game, but this game right here, more interesting. Against me is Amon Ad Raza. And whatever this thing is, is actually a crusader for this game. I think everything else is accurate. So my first, as far as setup goes, I deploy horribly. Do not realize the little shredders have Pathfinder because I just assumed everything in Legion has Pathfinder. I don't know why I do that. This Shepherd, her whole job in life now is to score that flag. Um, uh, and this, this, uh, <laughs> spell martyr, his whole job is to get within six of one of those racks so I can get alpha hunter using Hexbolt um, as a spell to kill it. Since the uh, focus that's on it only prevents ranged attacks. So threats against me, I it looks like on paper Shredders die pretty easy. So, and Dervishes hit really hard. So I'm theoretically, each one of those Dervishes can sidestep through and just mulch like four or five Shredders. I won't have much of an army left. Also the Crusaders are, I don't know, with Fortify, they, they seem a little, a little, Intimidating. He also has 71 and blessing or 70 and blessings of vengeance. And then that's the uh it has the range 14 gun. It's not I don't think it's the church. I can't remember exactly what it is. But yeah, I got up the board with all my shredders. Already liking this. Already feels right. So his turn, he gets up the board. He can go further, but he decides not to. And um, he stays pretty much out of all my threat ranges. Um, I can get Alpha Hunter via the spell or the the spell martyr, but it won't amount to anything if I pop feet with it and if I commit to it. So instead, I decide to play a little bit of a slower game. I put the shepherd on the flag. I take this. Um, ah, dang it. I, well, I can't remember names. Words are escaping me today. Anyhow, I run her out to the very corner of the zone, and the idea is is that he's going to have to send a Crusader out of control range to kill it, and more than likely, that Crusader will be out of control range for a couple of turns, and it'll really it'll basically be taking a Crusader out of play. If you want, And if he doesn't, I just get to sit over here and spray stuff and uh, contest that zone endlessly. So it seems like a win-win for me. And then I take uh, this other uh, Sorceress and Helium. Thank you. Woo, finally. And I fly her over there. Is that what I do? Do I do that? No, I did not. I did not do that at all. Um, I just kept her right there. Uh, Spell Martyr gets right there. Carnivian just moves around. And then I put two Shredders out here, which I play a lot of Virus too, so I understand how Synergy works. Uh, the poke damage is not fantastic with Viros 2 until Synergy get bu gets built up. So if I just put out a few things to build Synergy up on and then give him nothing else to use that Synergy on, I'm basically, whatever he's sending out to kill these two sh uh, Shredders, I am going to be able to trade into. And everything in, in his army is more expensive than Shredders. So it feels like a great win-win for me. And Proteus moves up is in range of Blessing of Vengeance, but out of range of all the Crusaders because I just don't want that type of situation because they hit really hard, like PAL 24 or something stupid like that. And the idea is, is to basically just bait them into bad engagements and maybe get them to build up some synergy and maybe send a Dervish into me or try some funky stuff where I get to get an engagement at the cost of a few Shredders, which seems good to me. So, he does send a Crusader over here with a couple of focus on it. 
and he does kill the sorceress and Helion. So he's got that sound. The, uh, then he starts shooting and moving up and basically with gunshots and spells and stuff and immolation from Sevi Zero, he's able to eliminate both these shredders and not give me anything. And then he takes, um, I can't remember what this jack is, but he basically gets it up into my face over here. And that's kind of his peace trade. He kind of wants to lock down the Carnivian. So I love the idea of his plan. I love the idea of his turn. I love the concept. Kill some things. Don't give away anything except for try to tie down a Carnivian. Um, love the idea of it. However, in the execution, he puts um, Crusaders, most of his Crusaders, and the uh, battle engine in range of the Carnivian and Proteus, assuming that the Shredders won't be able to kill this Lightjack to free up the Carnivian. That's, that's where I think this plan went wrong. He has to contest the zones. He has to move forward a little bit, which he did. But being able to get me onto models and remove a lot of things is, uh, is where the, is where the turn I feel like kind of went wrong for him because right here, it is absolutely worth it to me to, um, to have to pop feet or sorry. First thing I do is I put a shredder into there. Um, I make sure that it stays in a uh, control range so that, uh, or it just gets into melee with it basically so that I can get flank. And then I start charging in these other shredders and get it damaged up a whole bunch. Then Abby activates, she pops her feet, she charges, uh, that finishes it off and repositions back. So that's Alva Hunter feet is popped with that in flight. Now everything can fly over the top of those shredders. And the plan is these shredders come over here and they kill uh, this thing. And I'm I'm crazy impressed with the damage rolls, being able to charge for free and have four dice on PAL 12s and then just keep buying PAL 12. It, it just, the damage was fantastic. Carnivian charges in on the battle engine. Dice go crazy and um, it dies. And the crusader dies. I'm like, cool, because what? How, how I planned this out was that I had about four or five shredders over here that were going to charge the battle engine. So the Carnivian went in, hit the battle engine with a charge attack, and then killed the Crusader. And then whatever attacks that I had left over, it was going to put on the battle engine so the shredders could kill it. Instead, the Carnivian just spikes like mad and kills both of them. So that's crazy. Um, now the shredders can just sit there and look pretty because that's, that was the only thing in threat range. The uh, um, the sorceress and Helion walks over to here, lines up a spray, sprays down. That cross one over there is not actually cross one. I'm sorry, there is another proxy. This is a vassal mechanic. Sprays down both of these, kills both of them, and then repositions onto the flag. Because I'm going for a... Uh, I can't get assassination, but I can at least kind of threaten it a little bit. But I can definitely go way up on scenario, and I can definitely go way up on uh on attrition because last turn he scored a point here he scored a point here and i scored a point here so this the score is currently two to one um but I'm, I'm gonna try and score a crap ton i'm gonna try and clear this zone score this flag score this flag and score this flag so that'll put me up to five to two and spoiler alert it happens um, and I do good attrition work. So now that my Carnivian is roughly right about here, um, it's feet turn. So I want to commit Proteus, try and make him really hard to kill and try and protect this Carnivian using Proteus as a sacrifice. Proteus charges in. I start rolling some dice on that fortified crusader, but it's dice minus three. And I start doing the math in my head and it's like, I don't think he's going to kill the crusader. So I change my efforts and instead, uh, kill the dervish. And then I think a shredder charges the crusader and then other shredders run around to contest. And I just kind of get in the way. And then I make a giant pile of shredders up in here in front of Abby. Um, and the plan is, is for this giant pile of shredders to be the next wave. And that's, that's where we're at. Uh, me scoring four points and kind of clearing out a side of the map is a really, really big deal. I've got them stuck in that corner. And the score is five to one going to his turn. So he looks at it 
And he looks at it for a while and untilts himself. Good for him. And he comes up with a, a decent attrition plan that keeps him in the game for a turn. I don't know how it happens, but so many, so many crucial order of activations. Burns a lot of clock doing it. I can't even remember the order in which he did it all. But his goal was to get Crusader to Carnivian, uh, score this zone, contest this flag, contest this flag, and get a Dervish into these uh, Shredders and uh, kill Proteus. Sounds pretty incredible. It does happen. Sevy zero. Uh, pops Mystic Wards, which gets rid of Bracer on Proteus. Um, somehow Proteus dies, and then this Crusader goes in and kills Carnivian. And this Crusader is now in mobility range and is able to uh, walk to over to here to contest this flag. And then uh, a Convection kills the Shepherd that's on that flag. And then all these guys die. Um... And he does end up, um, I believe he gets the Vassal Mechanic over here to contest. So his turn ends kind of in that situation with me losing Proteus, a whole bunch of Shredders, and Carnivian. And I score this zone right here. He scores this zone right here. And that's it. So score becomes 6-2. to two. Uh, No, 6-3, to three, sorry. So I'm up by 3. And here is the basic plan. I got to close this out on scenario. Um, I don't think, I mean, maybe I can get rid of this Crusader. So I don't really see a good way of uh, scoring that flag because it's within four and being super annoying. So the basic plan is I need to score two points and contest all of his scenarios. Easy thing, take a shredder, run it into that zone. That's contested. So now he's not going to be scoring any points. So now I need to find a way to score two points. I've got one point here just in the bag. These stupid Shredders frenzy into each other, but Pal 10s with no flank don't really kill them. So they just kind of sit there gnawing on each other's shoulders and stuff, but still scoring the zone. I'm not going to clear this zone, and we already determined I'm not going to be able to get that flag. So, hello, little vassal mechanic. Uh, Sorceress, Sorceress and Helion goes for the spray, and it hits and kills him. If that didn't work, Soul Martyr was going to go over there and sacrifice himself for the common good to become a hex bolt for Abby to uh, potentially kill uh, him. And then if that didn't work, Abby was going to charge this Crusader over here so that she could try hex bolt again <laughs> to try and kill him. And then if that doesn't work, it just must be destiny because then Abby's going to have to back up and all these shredders are going to have to run into those Crusaders. Um, but I did kill him and I scored two points, making it eight to three allowing me to win the game. As far as attrition goes at this point, I don't think Shredders can chew through all those Crusaders. I do not like this Sam I am. Um, yeah. Especially, like, more than likely, this Crusader's already half dead. More than likely, I kill this Dervish and I kill that Crusader. And then the pile of Shredders that are around those two things, the Crusaders come in and just mop them up. Just walk into the pile right where the Crusader and Dervish used to be and just start bopping shredders. The half inch reach makes them, um, you know, get, yeah, it, it makes them get tied down like that. So, yeah, um, that was a very interesting game. I had a lot of fun with it. And I'm glad, I'm glad the scenario was live and that I could take advantage of it. And I'm, yeah, I think the triple threat play is really, really big. Um, anytime you can threaten assassination, attrition, and scenario and try and threaten two or three of those things at the same time, so that way if one of them falls off the table, you can win during the one using one of the other con win conditions. It's fantastic. And obviously attrition is the best, best path to the triple threat type of situation. But there have been several times where you can start threatening all three of those things just by dancing around and setting yourself up that way. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and let me know if there's any questions or comments. Hopefully not concerns.